Well, the Country Faith series has added another collection of music to its catalog with Country Faith Southern Gospel. Our Casey Haggerty spoke with the Country Faith co-founder about the newest compilation. We are here today with Deborah Evans Price. She's a CMA award winning author who has done an incredible job putting out this line of music called Country Faith. You can find it at Cracker Barrel. And my my music on repeat this Christmas was the Country Faith Christmas album. Oh, thank you, so Casey. Good. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Had a lot of my favorite songs on that collection. You guys have more music coming out. Country Faith Southern Gospel came out this past fall. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Tell me a little bit about this album. What makes it different from the others? This is the first time that we've kind of gone off into a different genre because, you know, country music and gospel music are, are very close cousins. But there's so many great Southern gospel artists. So when we were trying to think of a new, something different to do, you know, in the country faith line of, of products, we thought, oh, it's just a no-brainer to do a Southern gospel CD. One of the songs in particular that, that really means a lot to me is the Oak Ridge Boys' Brand New Star because last March my mom passed away from lung cancer. And Dwayne Allen of the Oaks emailed me that song. And the song talks about there's a brand new star up in heaven tonight. And I just, oh, uh, that just meant so much to me. Number one, for Dwayne to let me know that he was praying for our family and to send that song that was really comforting. And so when we were looking for songs to put on this collection, I, I just really had to have that on there. And I'm so glad that his record company agreed and, and you know, we had that. It's a beautiful song and it's, all, it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. I'm gonna miss you every day, but I know that you're all right. There's a brand new star up in heaven. Talk a little bit about how all this came to be. You're you're the brains behind it all. You started it a long time ago when you, you wrote some books. Yes, it, it kind of all started with the first Country Faith book, which is 56 different artists talking about their favorite Bible verses. How did you get the artists to give you their favorite Bible verses? Was that pretty easy to get them to contribute and be a part of? Yes, people were so supportive because it's a different kind of project to say, hey, What's your favorite Bible verse, you know, and, and why does that mean something to you? I was interviewing Miranda Lambert on something unrelated, and I just kind of sprung it on her. I'm like, sorry to bother you, but I'm working on this book, and I'm asking people their favorite Bible verse. You know, do you want to think about it and get back to me? She's, oh, no, I know my favorite verse, and talked about the, the scripture in Proverbs that means so much to her. Well, check it out. Country Faith, we love you. We love all you do, and uh, you can support it by picking it up at Cracker Barrel. Thanks so much for watching this week's Nashville Insider feature. If you liked what you saw, be an insider and hit the subscribe button. And also check out our friends Wilson Fairchild on their YouTube channel. And if you want to see full episodes of Nashville Insider, go to countryroadtv.com and use the code INSIDER when you sign up to get a free month. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.